Hello, and welcome to the Bartender Video Tutorials. In this video, you will learn how to use the list controls on a data entry form that are available to you in Bartender. When creating a form in Bartender, you have the ability to use list controls to provide a range of selections for the print operator to choose from. There are three data entry controls that utilize pre-populated lists, the radio button list, the list box, and the drop-down list. A radio button list lets the print operator choose only one from a list of predefined options. A list box contains a list of options, only one of which can be selected by clicking on the desired entry. A drop-down list allows you to save space on your form by displaying the list of options only when the print operator opens the list by clicking on the drop-down control. When working with list controls on a data entry form, you have five different ways to populate the list that will be displayed on the form. Begin by opening the Properties dialog for the list control by right-clicking on the Data Entry Control portion of the drop-down list Data Entry Control and selecting Properties. Select the List Items node in the Navigation pane on the left side of the dialog. The first way to populate the list is through an embedded data source, where you will enter the list items manually. In the Display Text column of the List Items table, select the first cell where the sample text says Value 1 and type in the first list item. Repeat this for each successive cell in the Display Text column until you have entered all your list items. As you can see, Bartender will continue to provide empty cells as you go. Be sure to press the Return key upon entering your last list item to ensure that it is included in the list. When your list is complete, you will need to link the control to the data source. To do this, first select the Linked Data Source node in the navigation pane. Here you will see all the data sources in your template. Select the data source for the object on your template that will utilize the input from the drop-down list and click the Close button. To see the list at work on your form, go to the Print Preview. Here is the drop-down list data entry control on your form. Click the drop-down menu to see the list items you just entered. Another option for populating a list is to use a database. If you already have the list items you want in a database, you can connect that database to Bartender in the List Properties dialog. Open the Source drop-down menu and select Database as the source for the list items. At this point, you will need to click the Database Setup button to attach your database. The Database Setup wizard will walk you through connecting your database. First, select the type of database and click Next. Then, locate the database file on your computer or server and click Next. Select the table that contains the list items by dragging it from the available tables to the tables to use and click Finish. The database is now listed in the Database Setup wizard. If you click on the Record Browser, you can see the database records from which you can now use to populate the drop-down list. Click OK to finalize the connection and close the database setup. If the database contains more than one field, you may need to tell Bartender which field to use to populate the list. From the Display Text Field drop-down, select the field in the database that contains the list items you want in the list. When you preview, you see that the drop-down list is now populated with the information from the chosen field in your database. Another way to populate a list is to use an external file. When using an external file, like a text file, the list items must be entered on separate lines and not separated by commas. In the Properties dialog, select External File from the Source drop-down menu. Click Select File and browse to the file on your computer or server. The external file now populates the list items table. The File Names in Folder source option looks at a folder that you select and then populates the list items with the file names contained in that folder. The last option in the source dropdown is Visual Basic Script. If you know Visual Basic Scripting, you can use this source to populate your list by opening the Visual Basic Script Editor to write VB Script to populate your list. To quickly recap, in this video, we covered the five ways you can populate a list in a list control on a data entry form. Manually using an embedded data source, connecting to a database or an external file, using the file names in a designated folder, or with Visual Basic Script. 
If you still have questions about this process, consult the Bartender Help System or check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.